Hello and welcome to this third part of our lecture answer set solving in practice. My name is still Torsten Schaub and this is part of a master course that we are giving at the University of Potsdam. Anyway, so this third part is dedicated to the foundations of answer set programming. Hence in section one and two we look at the language of answer set programming and its semantics and the semantics are its stable models. However, there is a hidden agenda and the hidden agenda is to make you fit for the next part, which is about modeling in ASP. And for modeling, you need to know what the real modeling language is, how you can define reasoning modes uh, with it, and notably, how first order variables are treated. Okay, this is more or less the outline of this. Now, the syntax and the semantics actually will take quite a substantial part of this lecture. And in the end, to be honest, I could give you this on a single slide. But my attempt is actually to, to motivate things, to, to tell you actually why is it like this and why not like this, and actually to, to get you from, from your knowledge and to, to pull you into the, into, the, into, into the world of answer set programming. And this is actually why I make such a big fuss about this. But anyway, let's see how it goes. See you in the next one.